to another episode of Cody's Magnificent Mind Behind the Scenes. In this episode, we are going to be looking at some audio recording editing. So, as you can see now, I have Cyberlink Wave Editor open, and that is because I am using that to record my audio for this presentation, although that is not what we are going to be using to edit the audio. Um, I do recommend it um, because it comes with the Cyberlink Power Director software that we are going to be using in the next episode to edit our video, but I'm only using it because it's all I could get to work. So let's just get started. I'm going to open my videos folder here and go into my video files. Oh, before I go any further. I want you to take note of how organized my videos folder is. Um, it is very important to keep yourself organized so you know what you're doing when, you, when it comes to video editing. You are going to be a lot happier if you know where everything is. So I'm going into my video files folder and then my game source and you can see here there is a folder called Minecraft Let's Play episode 29 which I recorded yesterday. Um, and we are going to actually edit the audio and video and upload this to YouTube together for this series. So it is going to be our example. So I'm going to open that up. As you can see, there are 10 parts, which is four or five hours of gameplay, gameplay, gameplay composed into a 25 minute video or so. Um, we are not going to worry about that for right now. We are just going to worry about the audio for these parts. So, um, before we get started, you are going to want a program. I don't even know. I can't move you over. I want to show. Um, uh, there it is. I'll just drag it over here. No? I'll drag it down here then. There we go. Audio stream splitter. There's. That's what you're going to want to use to extract your audio from your uh, video files. Um, if you are not using DxTory, this comes with DxTory, but if you are not using DxTory, you're going to want to record your audio in a separate program, such as Audacity or Wave Editor like I am using now. Um, but we won't worry about that at the moment. Uh, what we are going to worry about is right clicking after you have installed your audio stream splitter and extract your audio stream. And this is basically extracting the audio from your video. And DxTory has two parts. I have it set up that way. So one is my commentary, and the other is my in-game sound. So if we right-click this and open with, uh, open with, there we go, Windows Media Player, you can hear. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to it. That is my. Uh, in or my commentary and the other one will obviously be my in-game sound which I will show you something loud uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not but there's footsteps and whatnot so that is the in-game sound so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this one and I'm gonna rename it keeping the same title as my video for video ep editing purposes, but I'm going to add commentary at the end, and this one I am going to rename it to in game sound. So now we have, when we go into video editing, we are going to easy, easily be able to decipher which clip the sound goes with. So that will be important in the future. Um, It'll also be important right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop open Audacity here. I already have it open. So I'm going to drag and drop this. And you'll get this warning message into the Audacio, Audacity, Audacity screen um, asking you whether to make a copy or not. Um, we are going to make a copy before editing and that is safer because if you mess up you can go back to your copy and start over 
and trust me I have had to do that more than once and it's a good thing to do so I am just making sure yeah my Viv audio has stopped no no it's still going this is actually like the fourth or fifth clip I mean take of this video that I've had to do because audacity wants to overwrite all of my other audio software which is fine <laughs> but it's hard to do when uh, you want to get something done so anyways this is the imported clip and as you can see there's tiny little peaks and waves as well as flat sections uh, the peaks and waves will be the louder points of me talking and the flat sections will be just be generic background noise but as you can see those peaks and waves are really tiny that means there's not a lot of volume so we're going to want to fix that by going to effect and then compressor and these are the settings that I use here if I hit preview hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of you can hear that is a lot louder than it was originally so we're going to hit OK, and it'll compress that. Um, I forgot to mention, too, is you want to make sure that your whole track is selected before compressing. So hit Control a to select the whole track, and it will compress the whole thing. So now we can see here, this is our finished result. You can see the peaks and waves are a bit higher, so that means there's more volume, and that is good. What it also did, though, is it uh, amplified our background noise. So if I find a section of flat, so semi flat and hit play you can hear a lot of static so we are going to want to eliminate that static and to do that we're going to want to select this flat section just by dragging our mouse along make sure you don't get your actual voice and then go back to effect and then noise removal so we're going to complete step one right now S select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out then click to get a noise profile so that's what we have done we have selected a few seconds of just noise actually there's less than a few seconds but that is fine it is pretty smart program so we are gonna hit get noise profile it now has a profile of that background noise and it knows what to filter out so we are going to select the whole track again by control A Make sure that the whole track is selected, then we'll go back to noise removal and we will complete step two. Select all of the audio you want filtered, so we did that, control A, choose how much noise you want filtered out, and then click OK to remove the noise. And then these are the settings that I always use. Uh, you can copy them if you like, noise reduction 48 decibels, sensitivity 0.16 decibels, um, frequency smoothing 150 hertz, and attack and decay time. 0.15 seconds and this is probably one of the most important sections is noise you want to make sure that it's set to remove and not isolate because if you isolate that noise it's going to remove everything except that noise profile and we don't want that we want our voice we want that filtered out so we'll hit OK and it'll remove it, it takes a few seconds depending on the length of your audio track it could take longer but uh, that is basically it so now once it's done you can see here that the flat sections are definitely a lot flatter so if I go back to the beginning here roughly and hit the play button everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cody's Magnificent Mind Minecraft let's play so you can see that the uh, it has filtered out all of that extra static so now the last thing that we want to do is we want to go file export select the we can just override overwrite the uh, previous one and hit save it says it's already already exists so we're gonna overwrite it anyways Hit yes um, this section here is the metadata it is not very important when you are doing video sound because the video metadata will overwrite the sound at metadata anyways so we can just hit OK leave that blank that is fine and it'll like export it back to the WAV format and there we go so if I pop this open in Windows Media Player again uh, Windows Media Player Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cody's Magnificent So you can hear that's fairly clear and I will replay the original here 
just so you can compare them. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. So that is very quiet and that is basically all I have for you today. In the next episode we are going to be getting down to the video editing. Um, so that'll be exciting and then the final episode of this series will be uploading and setting up our YouTube channel and all that fun stuff to do with YouTube. So that is all for me. If you enjoyed watching the video, please like, add it to your favorite, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. That is all for me. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>